All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video on my channel. I just want to say really quick before you start the video, make sure you watch the full thing and listen to what the cop says after the accident. My GoPro did fall off my helmet, so it wasn't connected to the mic, but it still picked up some audio. There's some wind noise, so you may have to put headphones in, but after the video is done playing, I'm going to come back and explain what's been going on in the weeks following the accident and what my potential plans are for the future. So make sure you just stay tuned. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I'm gonna try to answer them. Uh, if I don't answer them, I'm probably just making another video answering the questions and explaining anything I may have missed in this video. So uh, I appreciate all the support that you guys have been showing on YouTube and Instagram. Yeah, so hope you enjoy. It's pretty entertaining. I mean, this doesn't happen every day. It's still kind of unreal. It just, it doesn't feel real that this even happened. This is like something you just see on the news or on social media when you're scrolling through and you just never think it's gonna happen to you. But I mean, I don't know. It's life. It shit happens, but yeah. Enjoy the video. Uh, I'll come back when it's done playing. We got a beautiful day out today. Hopefully it's not too windy when we get out there. Maybe it is. Shit. Why he brake check me? What are you? What are you doing, man? Stop tailgating me. What are you? What are you? What are you doing, man? Stop tailgating me.
other bike was really giving me a problem. They were on me. I almost have to say, I thought that was you. He was all over the place. He was like, he got So firstly, I didn't get arrested that day and they didn't give me any tickets so far, but now that this video's out, I wouldn't be surprised if they tried to come after me with whatever they could find and just try to ticket me or arrest me, whatever, because I'm exposing them. So the officer's name that was involved in the accident is John Vincent Grayshimer. It's the, uh, he's part of Florida Highway Patrol and it's the, the Davy District, Troop L, if anybody's wondering. Yeah, they pretty much, they did an investigation. Like the sergeant came out, did an investigation. They pretty much just did a crash report on what happened. I don't think they, there was any disciplinary action for the cop. I've been trying to get in touch with the department to find out, but I just haven't gotten any answers. So yeah, I'm, I'm gonna email the guy's supervisor. I already tried to get in touch with the sergeant. He's not, he's not gonna answer me or get back to me. I had, I had called the department and the first time he wasn't there and I, I sent him an email and he hasn't answered that was like 10 days ago and then I called again and he was there the operator tried to transfer me to his his line and he just didn't pick up so uh, I pretty much just asked the operator if if I can get a copy of the body cam and uh, file a complaint so I'm pretty much in the process of doing that right now yeah that's about it I mean I'm still trying to look for an attorney so if you guys know any good law firms or attorneys that can help me, or if you're one watching, definitely get in contact with me. I'll leave my email in the description. I also have Instagram, so I'll leave that in the description as well. If you wanna, if anybody wants to message me, ask me questions about what's going on. Yeah. Is there anything else? I don't even know what to say, but I don't even know what to say. Oh, uh, I did file a claim through my insurance. So they pretty much gave me the money for the damages and they're going after the department's insurance because they don't believe that I was at fault. And I'm not sure how they're doing with that, but yeah, so I'm pretty much, I just want to save for another bike and just, you know, keep going, keep trying to do my thing. My parent, or not my parents, but my mom doesn't want me to ride. Neither does my, the rest of my family. I mean, my dad, I got my dad into riding, so he has a bike and, you know, he still supports me, but, you know, it's just tough. It's just tough trying to, you know, convince them. I know they're uncomfortable with it, but I mean, this is what I want to do. I enjoy making YouTube videos, so I'm not going to let anybody stop me from doing what I want, and, you know, as my career and just, even if it's just a side hustle or just a hobby, I just really enjoy riding and, and making videos, so. I'm not gonna let nobody take that away from me. It's just, you know, it's my life. I get one life and I'm gonna live how I want. I mean, it's just, it is what it is, bro. No, no one's gonna take that from me. I mean, I, I put some hard thought into it. I almost considered, you know, quitting, but I'm not. It's just, it's just what it is. Bro. I'm not, I'm not gonna quit. So, I mean, obviously that can change, but as of right now, that's just what I believe. You know, if I, if I had set my mind to doing something, I'm gonna do it. So, you know, yeah, it is what it is, bro. It is what it is, but. So really quick, I forgot to mention, as far as my injuries go, I got really lucky. I don't have any life-threatening injuries. I mean, the worst part is my lower back. Yeah, I just got really lucky. I didn't break any bones or none of that. I think I just messed up my spine a little bit. So I just have a little trouble uh, just sleeping, working, whatever. If I sit in a chair for too long, my lower back hurts and it's uncomfortable. But uh, the worst part is probably mentally, it was just traumatizing, and I just feel uncomfortable around police now. Like, I just can't trust them. I don't want to be around any of them. When I see them, I kind of get angry, I'm going to be honest. Yeah, it's just like, I mean, the officer that was involved in the accident, if you really think about it, he was treating me as a biker like all other bikers, probably trying to prevent me from running away or just pissed off because he hates bikes. And wanted to take me out he wanted to try to take my life i mean it's just it's pretty evident in the video that what he did was intentional so it's like cops complain that people treat all cops the same but 
here's one of them treating all bikes the same. But yeah, that's pretty much it. So yeah, I'm gonna close off the video here and just stay tuned, that's all I can say.